thing I'd like to do is is commend Coach Diebler um, on on a being in a really tough spot. Uh, his team could have very easily just decided to to, to fold it up. Uh, I've got tremendous respect for for Chris, but the job he did was was outstanding and and um, got those kids to to play really hard and rally and um, so I, I'd like to commend him and, and, and Ohio State. It wasn't the prettiest game today. Uh, it was a postseason game. Uh, it was everything that you've got to fight through all in one. Um, you know, it's uh, not very often Marcus goes three for 16 and uh, and we're going to win. Uh, but uh, these two guys right here, um, Dane goes seven of 10, um, eight rebounds, uh, 18 points was, was, was dominant in the post. Uh, and then I thought Ty, who's been playing off the chart at a, at a double, double 12 points, 10 rebounds. Uh, those guys were, were both impact as impactful on the defensive end, but, uh, a lot of grit, a lot of toughness being down 10, uh, made some lineup changes, uh, at different times and, and a night that, uh, uh, you know, Coleman wasn't great, uh, but he came up with some five off 50 rebounds, some really big ones late, and uh, and then made a nice block late. So uh, a great team win, and it's uh, survive in advance, which is what postseason play is all about. Questions for Dane and Ty. Please raise your hand, and we'll get a mic to you. Start with Jeremy on the right-hand side in the front row, please. <sighs> Ty, beginning of the second half, wasn't going so well. Coach calls timeout. We saw what happened. What what was said? What sparked you guys to, to come back from that deficit? Yeah, I think we came out um, the second half a little lackadaisical. Um, but, um, you know, we withstood it. Um, we came together, and uh, we found a way, you know. Um, I think just at the timeout, uh, we kind of just talked to everybody within ourselves, and um, we could feel the energy was down. And um, I think after that timeout, uh, we were able to get a kill, and, um, you know, we just brought energy from that point on. So um, I think after that, the energy was high and, uh, and we were ready to go in it. Front row, right? Dane, did, did, you, did you see this as a matchup that was favorable uh, to you? They didn't double in the post. They just one on one with Akpala. Did you, did you feel like you could have a good game today? Uh, yeah, uh, I did. You know, I know uh, he's um, Akpala is very long and athletic. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, you know, I thought by going into his body a little bit more, um, I thought I would be a little bit more effective. We'll stay in the third row in the middle. Dane, this is your hometown. What was it like to be able to do this in one of your yeah. biggest games, 10 miles from where you're from? Uh, yeah, um, you know, you know, it feels good to be able to come back and uh, play in front of a whole bunch of friends and family, um, coaches. Um, you know, it's just a good feeling to come back and be able to um, get a W. Third row, right-hand side. Uh, Dane, you kind of touched on having your friends and family here. Um, what kind of extra boost does that give you uh, just to have such such an entourage here uh, in support of you? Uh, yeah, you know, it's a, uh, for me, it's a little, little bit more motivation. Um, you know, I got my both of my parents here. You know, that just means a lot to me. Um, and then all my friends who supported me from day one. Um, so, you know, uh, it's just a good feeling. Um, and it gives me a little bit more energy, you know. So. Front row, middle, Matt. Ty, if anybody had any success on Thornton all night, it seemed to be you defensively. What was the game plan, and what do you feel like you were able to do to at least slow him down and make him take a tough two? Um, I think just um, just just me being able to curl up in him. Um, I think I think coach has been on me a lot the past few weeks. Um, I used to um, give a lot of space and on defenders, and um, he just wanted me to just really curl up in guys. And um, I think when I curl up in guys, um, I'm, a, I'm a pretty good defender, and, and coach always preaches that to me. Um, so my thing was just being aggressive with him and crawling up in him um, and, and just trying to take him where I want him to go, you know. Second row in the middle. Hi, uh, for Dean, what's it like, Dean, to to be able to do what you, you know, just did out there, to know you're good enough to do that? You don't always get to play as big a role in a game. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But to be in March and, you know, have your head up and do that, what's that experience like for you? Uh, well, you know, it's about just staying positive and uh, bringing good energy to the team. Uh, you know, uh, I don't want to be a downer to the team. You know, I always want to, um, you know, bring good energy, make the guys laugh a little bit, you know, uh, just doing those little things and just doing whatever it takes to win. You know, that's what's most important. So Let's take two more for the student athletes left hand side. Second row. Dane, multiple times down the stretch, he powered through the contact, 
for those and ones. What, what was the emotion like after making those buckets heading to the free throw line, trying to just close that deficit? Uh, it was just refusing not to not to lose. Like, like I don't know. Like, I just didn't want to lose. Uh, I kept going. Uh, I tried to do everything I could, you know, to get the W. Time for one more for the student athletes. All right, we'll go back to Jeremy, the last one, front row, middle. It's for both you guys, just Coleman did not have the best game early on, but to make the winning plays he did late, what would that say about him? And what'd you think about it? Ty. Um, I think that shows who he is, you know. Um, like Coach said earlier, he didn't have the best first half, um, but he stayed with us, you know, and, and we withstood it. And, um, you know, that's what that's what our team is about, you know, stepping up and helping our brothers. And um, and he was he was ready, you know, um, Coach Adam. And, and when he came back in, he was ready to go. Um, and, and he won the game for us. You know, he had that big rebound. Um, he had a big defensive play on battle, um, you know, and that's what it's about. You know, older guys, very mature. And um, I think that speaks a lot to about Coleman itself. So. All right, you guys can head back to the locker room. We'll continue with questions for Coach Underwood. Yes, we'll start in the front here, in the middle. Brad. Go ahead, it'll. Okay. You had a couple of, um, you've had a couple of games where you didn't get rebounds at the end of games, and you kind of did that to them today, where you got the offensive rebounds and just the, the effort plays. I know you've been preaching that. How how good was it to see that maybe come to fruition? Yeah, there, that's yes and no. Um, they got a couple offensive putbacks that, that kept possessions alive, but uh, it's nice to be on the on the on the other side of that. And uh, again, Coleman five offensive rebounds. I don't know the last time he had five uh, in a game. It might go back to his freshman year, um, but. Um, uh, those were winning plays, and those are those are plays that you have to make this time of year. There's no doubt; those were the decisive moments in this game, and and um, you know, for a senior to step up and do that is is uh, uh, you know says a lot, especially not on his best night. And uh, but uh, Coleman wanted to keep playing here. Front row, right side. Go ahead. Oh yeah, Brad. Um, you mentioned survive in advance. Not only that, but it's a game where you're down double digits midway through the second half. And how do how do you use situations like that to prepare you for the finality of March. Yeah, you you always have to learn from them. Most important thing is you have to learn why you got there. Um, and, and the fight back, I think, is something we, you know, we haven't been bound. I think we've only been been down double digits three times this year. One was DeValpo, maybe Tennessee. Um, I don't remember who the other one was, but we haven't been down and, and, and Purdue, at Purdue. So we haven't, it hasn't happened with us a lot, but I don't doubt this team's toughness and their grit. Uh, but I think we have to learn why um, why we have those moments. We have we we didn't play very well offensively. We got to play better because uh, I thought defensively we were pretty solid for the most of the night. Stay on the right side, Doug. Yeah, coach. They, they did make they made their two runs. One run in the first half, one in the second half. What was the huddle like in those situations? And were there some adjustments that you felt like you made where you could uh, chip away at the lead? Yeah, I mean, we gave them live ball turnovers in the one in the first. We turned the ball over. We turned down, turned down shots. Um, you know, I, I've said this: we're turning down too many threes. Um, I want us to take more threes. I want Coleman Hawkins to shoot threes. Uh, I want Marcus to shoot threes. Uh, I want Quincy to shoot threes. Um, and and we're Justin Harmon to shoot threes, and we're turning them down. And instead, we had live ball turnovers. And then the you know the start of the second half was just absolutely just flat and uh ty got a big tip in and uh you know i got emotional in a in a in a timeout and tried to rally him i mean challenge him and 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 uh, uh let's compete let's have a little fire and uh, with a little moderate success i don't think it was it was over the top but um we found a way today and i'm, I'm proud of our guys for that third row middle left uh, Coach, uh, we got to see Dre Gibbs Lawhorn give some great minutes in the game. Uh, what did you see that made you want to put him back into the rotation, and what did you think of his performance today? Well, he's been guarding, and and I thought, you know, especially when they had Bonner in the game, you know, I thought he was a guy that could really pressure the ball, disrupt, um, you know, their flow a little bit. I thought they were comfortable. Uh, you know, they, they take Bruce off the ball some. Uh, but um, again, I'm, I've got a lot of confidence in Draven. Uh, he works hard every day. He's one of the hardest working guys on our team, if not the hardest working. And uh, uh, I'm going to 
you know, when it's time to go, I know he's going to be ready to go. All right, we've got time for two more. Steve, right side, middle. It's, uh, it's a bit off topic. Sorry, there's no a good time to ask, I guess. It's about Chris Holtman going to DePaul, what you think of him, what you think of, you know, that he can do in Chicago. You know the city, obviously, and you know him. Well, he's very familiar with the league, um, having, having already been in it, so he knows how good that league is. Um, he'll be a better coach going into that league now because he's been in this league. Uh, he had great success in this league. And uh, um, I think Chris is one of the great, great coaches uh, in the country. Um, I think he'll find a way to uh, uh, help build that program and, and, and make it um, one of the top contenders. I'm a, I'm a huge Chris Holtman fan and, and um, always have been. I think he works really, really hard. And I think he's a hell of a ball coach. Last one, third row middle. Coach, you see the emotion when we bring up Dane's hometown being 10 miles from here. What, kind, what does that mean to you to see him kind of do this in front of a place that he's from? And that's awesome. That's, so, that's what this thing is all about. I mean, you get, you know, Marcus had a game earlier in the year when he was in Madison back in his home state and, and Dane right here. And, and uh, you know, Dane says the best. Dane's, Dane's one of the nicest young people I've I, I could ever ask for. He's a, he's always got a smile on his face. He's always funny. He's always laughing. Um, he is, he is relentless in his work ethic. Um, and, and so he's, you know, when he's called upon to, to, to help us win, he's, he's going to do that. And, uh, uh, he was fabulous today. So I'm really happy for him. All right. Thank you, coach. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you.